Hey, it's me, Vanessa, and today is my birthday, so I figured the fitting a fitting video would be of my top 10 wish list house plants, and then five of them that I have gotten in the past couple months. So they've been checked off my wish list, and now I'm at 10, so there'll be 15 total, five in the beginning on the computer, five with me and then five on the computer again so if you want to celebrate my birthday with me and take a look at my wish list let's get into it i'm going to be recording on my phone and looking through my laptop of the pictures i have picked out for us to look at so no particular order because i want them all like who doesn't so I have a Gloriosum. I just I love the way the leaves look, how big they get, and just look at how pillowy and amazing they just I love it. And the sinus, like perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, next one on my list is Hoya macrophylla vergata. And I just like the way it's variegated, the veining, how it has a textured leaf, too. It's really interesting. Mm, also, the flowers are really beautiful. I'm just looking for a really good picture of it. This one. A nice picture. Beautiful. Just add to my collection of Hoya. Another one. Melana Chrysum. And I recently just found one for $100, but it's like a tiny, tiny little baby. I was thinking about it. And again, it's like, to me, it looks like a big Mykins. And it's beautiful. It's velvety. They get huge leaves. Pillowy textures. Amazing. Next up, I have the Dragon Scale, both green and silver. They're beautiful. I just, I love the way it looks. It looks like a dragon. And the texture is amazing. Here's the green one. Again. It's the texture. It look. It reminds me of a black velvet. So, dreams. Oh, yeah. Next up, I have a Cebu. Cebu. I just. I don't know what it is about these, but ever since I've seen them on Plant Me Ashley's channel, I've fallen in love with the blue and gray and silver. And it's just amazing. Hey, we're in my room and I'm in the middle of my top 10 wish list that I don't have. And I figured we'd do the top five that I do have. Starting with this beauty. So this is a Bagonia Escargo. And I absolutely love her. She's amazing. I recently had to trim it because it wasn't doing great in just the air with 65% humidity. It was crisping so now I have it in a bubble. And 
Next up on my list is my string of turtles. It's so cute! I love it. It's just recovering from its spider mites treatment. Got some new growth here. Love it. Mm, it's a pretty common plant. I'm pretty sure same with the begonia. And next up is a Hoya. My queen. She's got some new growth coming on both of these. And this one. Wait, wait, wait. I don't know, I guess she got root rot and she was just eating eating the pot she was in. So I took her out, I caught her in this cute little container and hopefully she roots up for me. So that's four. It's pretty sad, I know, but it has a new growth point. This is my silver sword. And if you see right there is the new growth point. It has several, actually, this one here and one on this side. So yeah. And because this one's so tiny and you can't really see, I can in one more. This was on the top of my wish list forever. Black velvet, and it's beautiful. It's got new growth, and I just keep her in perlite. And her roots going like crazy, all the way down and across. Wait till this layer comes out. I'm so excited. Okay, so and that is it for my six, I guess, houseplants that I have gotten recently off of my wish list. And I would like to finish my wish list. So let's continue. So I wanted to finish my video and the next one for my wish list is a straight snake plant cylindrica. So like these guys or these ones like this. Like that one. I love the way it looks like seaweed. Just perfect. Now I have a couple anthuriums, uh, Warroquianum, Warroquianum, however you say it. I love, love, love how long and elegant and beautiful these leaves are. Uh, they're velvety, the veining shows through, it's just beautiful. Another favorite of course and I have one more anthurium and it is anthurium <coughs> magnificum like these are amazing leaves they're huge like huge oh my baby's here don't mind her she's, she's kind of has a runny nose so but the huge heart shaped with the veining is so beautiful. Okay, and on to my ninth one. 
The ninth one on my list of wishes is Thai Constellation. So I do love the elbow. That would be more of an elbow right there. But the thing with the elbows are their variegation is unstable. With the Thai constellation, you will always have variegation on your leaves, whether it's a lot chunkier white or more of a marble or speckled. You'll always have it no matter what you do. So that's why I love the Thai constellation. And going on to my 10th is, yes, a begonia. And the Begonia Exotica, I've loved all year, like all year long. I've been seeing it pop up here and there, but it's so expensive. <coughs> oh, I could just never afford it, probably. <clears throat> like, the leaves are angel wing. They have pink and black running through them. And I think I just, I, I just love it. I'm speechless when I look at it. It's amazing. So, yeah. Those are my top 10 I wish I had houseplants. <laughs> and then the five that I just got within like the past couple of months. But I hope you enjoyed and maybe added one of these onto your wish list if not tell me what you have on your wish list in the comments below like share possibly subscribe thanks have a good night bye